हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एडियो टैप सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू रिपोर्ट्स एंड इंडाइसिस सो गाइज आई होप दैट यू नो दैट रिपोर्ट्स एंड इंडाइसिस प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन फेज़ वन एज वेल एज फेज़ टू ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ आर बी ए ग्रेड बी एंड नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए स्पेशली द ई एस आई पेपर दैट इज़ योर फेज़ टू एंड ऑल्सो दीज आर रेलिवेंट फॉर फेज़ वन यू हैव टू नो बिकॉज रिपोर्ट्स एंड इंडाइस आर अ पार्ट ऑफ योर करंट अफेयर्स एंड अगेन करंट अफेयर्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर जी ए पार्ट ऑफ बोधी एग्जामिनेशन राइट तो गाइज आर टूडे इज लेक्चर द वेरी फर्स्ट लेक्चर अंडर दिस सीरीज इज डेडिकेटेड टू ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो दिस इंडेक्स हैज बीन रिसेंटली रिलीज इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर इट हैज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फाइंडिंग्स एंड वील ट्राई टू कवर ऑल द फाइंडिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो वी विल डिस्कस सम प्रैक्टिस एम सी क्यू सो दैट यू गेट टू नो दैट वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर एक्चुअली आज इन द एग्जामिनेशन फ्रॉम सच रिपोर्ट्स एंड इंडाइसिस ओके So yes before we get started i want to tell you that edutap has launched 2021 courses for the exams of rbi sebi nabad uh, please download our app so that you can get uh, uh, get to know about the features of the courses and other details you can also visit our website and also i would sub i would uh, request you to hit subscribe to the channel if you are new here so that you can get daily and regular videos for these examinations as well as for the other competitive examinations right So guys let's get started with the global global hunger index 2020 so uh, guys as you can see it has been released in october and two bodies are here concern worldwide and world hunger life which have released this report right so a typical a uh, question which can be asked in phase 1 or even phase 2 of the exams is here after this question we will discuss the report right so the question is global hunger index 2020 has been jointly released by concern worldwide and world hunger life what is the rank of india in this index among 107 countries so rank of india in any international index is very important again i cannot emphasize it more for phase 1 as well as phase 2 you have to know such things right so guys the rank of india in this global hunger index 2020 is 94 option c is the right answer among 107 countries right there, there can be also a question that who have uh, which bodies have come together to release this global hunger index so you know these are concern uh, worldwide and world hunger life so let me take you to this global hunger index and its important findings so see um i have put this uh, clipping from the hindu because such important reports are released in uh, various standard newspapers so if you are covering current affairs from your side like you are going through the newspapers you must not miss such things right the heading says india fares poorly in hunger index so in that indicates that india has not done really well in the index so according to this index india stands at 94th position out of 107 countries in the index total so that takes india to a serious level of hunger with an overall score of 27.2 so rank you have to know india's rank is 94 and the overall score of india that is 27.2 apart from this guys uh, this is india specific finding but you have to know about the index itself who launches the index who has uh, this year released the index or who are the countries which are at the top of the index so the interesting finding of the index is that 17 nations including china belarus ukraine turkey cuba and kuwait have shared the top rank with a G ghi scores of less than 5 so you see india score is 27.2 and india is india is at the level of serious hunger whereas the countries with a score of less than 5 are at the top of the index so this tells you if we have a higher rank we have a higher score we are not in a good position so this is about india's rank and score let me tell you about ghi itself what is global hunger index so guys it is an annual report right every year it comes it is jointly published by concern worldwide and world hunger life to comprehensively measure and track hunger at the global regional as well as country levels so not only global uh, levels but also regional and as country specific levels are measured as per this particular report now this score is determined on a 100 point scale which are based on four parameters now what are these four parameters they are very important we will cover them 
but first let me tell you about this point scale because there is a 100 point scale so zero indicates the best score guys whereas 100 is the worst so these are the basically two extremes and no country is actually either at the zero or at the 100 or lie in between somewhere okay so countries within the range of 20 to 34.9 are considered to be grappling with acute hunger so now you in now you understand i hope that india is in this particular category india's score is 27.2 right so this is about the index but what are the four indicators or the parameters that also we have to know so the four indicators are undernourishment child wasting child stunting and child mortality undernourishment basically means the proportion of the undernourished in a particular population uh, this is about your undernourishment then child wasting basically stands for the proportion of children under the age of 5 suffering from wasting now wasting is what when a child or children have less weight in proportion or in comparison to their height so less weight in comparison to their height it will be child wasting whereas the third parameter is child stunting which is again related to the children of less than five years of age which means low height in a proportion to their age so when height is less in proportion to the age it is child stunting that is child has remained stunted while wasting is weight is less in comparison to the height right the fourth indicator is mortality rate of children so the mortality rate of children under five stands for child mortality so these are the four parameters based on which this ghi is released this ranking is released with a score from the level of 0 to 100 right guys each and every line mentioned here is important for you if not phase one because we say that in phase one questions are usually about who has released the report or what is the rank of india or which countries are the top but we have seen in rbi as well as nabad phase two esi guys questions are asked on report and each and every line given here is important for you okay now coming to the parameters only the indicators which we have discussed so there are four indicators that i've told you but they are they are actually divided through dimensions so there are three dimensions with four indicators so the four indicators of wasting uh, and stunting together form child undernutrition while child mortality takes you to the under five mortality rate and undernourishment is related to inadequate food supply so these are the three dimensions having four indicators now guys this one by three indicates here that the three dimensions given have equal weightage one by three one by three one by three child nutrition is subdivided into wasting and stunting with a weightage of one by six and one by six so that is it i would suggest you a lot of things are written here uh, related to a particular dimension also that you can read for your understanding the pdf will be available to you for the downloading purpose uh, then you'll have to subscribe to our telegram channel if you're not there you can download the pdf and read through it i would not say that a question can be framed directly from it but yes this will help you to understand this composition of ghi better right the important things are three dimensions and four indicators that i've already told you okay guys moving to india specific findings of the global hunger index we have covered what index is how is the calculation done based on what parameters now coming to the findings of this particular report uh, launched in the year 2020 related to india so guys india's rank is 94 out of 107 countries in the index the surprising thing is that india's rank is lower than neighbors like bangladesh and pakistan guys Bangladesh is at 75, Pakistan is at 88th rank. So India's rank is worst, lower than neighbors also. Out of the 107 countries, only 13 countries fare worse uh, than India, which include Rwanda, Nigeria, Afghanistan. So this is a dismal finding, but important for you to know. Another very important thing I would like to indicate here is we know that the top rank has been taken by 17 nations, right? You also have to know the last rank. So 107th rank has been taken by Chad. This country uh, has the last rank and India's rank is 94. Now, another important thing for the examination. This year's rank we know, but has India improved in terms of the previous year rank or have we done 
uh, have we not done well so guys india's rank was 102 out of 117 countries last year so india has not done well india has actually decreased in the ranking because the number of countries have decreased but india's rank has increased so uh, this is also an important finding whenever you read about any countries uh, india's rank in any index please note down the top nation the last nation and the india's rank in comparison to previous rank also right performance on the indicators which or the parameters which we have discussed let's see what has india's performance been so guys under nourishment if we talk about india's under nourishment was 14% uh it was 16.3 during 2011 13 this is what report has said so under nourishment is 14% child wasting is 17.3% uh earlier it was 15.1 then stunting is 34.7 so i think you understand that these all these percentages have to be less we we are not uh, hiring for more number of um uh, the percent the high percentage rather we want less percentage so in terms of guys stunting and mortality india has done well we have improved in these two parameters but for other two we have not done much well okay rather wasting has actually increased so uh, stunting if we talk about it was 54% in the year 2000 this year it is 34.7 and similarly mortality has a uh, decrease from 5.5.22 to 3.7% so these are the figures you have to keep in mind now this question comes to your mind right do i need to remember these figures guys it would be better if you remember at least this year's figure the findings of this year and what has it increased or decreased the percentage that would be enough for you but you need to remember this okay so india's score is here guys i've brought this table from the report i went to the report to find this particular table so uh, if we talk about south east and south east asia then you'll see india's rank is 20 india's score is 27.2 so china is at uh, the you know top position less than 5 followed by fiji thailand mongolia india is standing somewhere near the more or less the afghanistan korea so this is our score and this is what tells you about india's current situation in terms of hunger okay so that is about india specific finding guys the last important dimension of this index is worldwide scenario so we have seen about the india specific findings but what does the indicators or the report tells us about the worldwide scenario so the ghi score of worldwide hunger is 18.2 so it takes it to the moderate level so india is at the serious or severe level while world wide hunger is at the moderate level it is down from 2000 uh, the year 2000 score it was a 28.2 earlier but now it is down at the moderate level out of 107 countries uh, guys three suffer from the levels of hunger that are alarming so the last three nations bottom are chad timor leste and madagascar do you need to remember the names of these three nations which are at the alarming level yes you must the reason i've already told you these are one of the important parameters of the examination right so this you have to know and then moving to 31 countries having serious levels of hunger india is a part of this 31 block of the nation ठीक है जी तो दिस इज इट गाइज अबाउट द वर्ल्ड वाइड सिनारियो मूविंग टू अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन दैट वॉज मैंशन इन द रिपोर्ट इज अबाउट एस डी जी टू प्रोग्रेस गाइज सस्टेनेबल डिवेलपमेंट गोल्स सेवनटीन गोल्स टू बी अटेंड बाई द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे इज दिस एस डी जी इंडिया इंडेक्स विच इज रिलीज इन इंडिया बाई नीति आयोग दैट इज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम सो ऑल एंड ऑल सस्टेनेबल डिवेलपमेंट गोल्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस राइट the report has said that world is not on track to achieve the second sustainable development goal which is zero hunger for uh, short by 2030 so we are basically running short of attaining this goal we will not be able to uh, reduce this hunger by the year 2030 this is what has been mentioned in the report very important finding guys this might also help you in your english essay writing you can quote this I'm sorry if there's some background issue because this lecture is being taken from my home. Please bear with me, right? Uh, coming to SDG two, guys. 
all sustainable development goals you have to buy hard them but sdg 2 specifically i have mentioned here it is related to zero hunger so keep this in mind that which goal is related to zero hunger and again you can refer to this particular uh, matrix which is given here zero hunger deals with uh, access to safe nutritious and sufficient food ending forms of uh, malnutrition then doubling small uh, holder food production and income then delivering sustainable resilient food systems and maintaining agro biodiversity so these are the sub goals these are not important for the exam directly that you do not need to buy hard the sub targets but it will be better if you read them it will be easy to understand them for nabard they are more important theek hai so that's it guys is bar please go through it once else i would suggest you to know this zero hunger thing only right yes ghi severity scale i have given here another important aspect this severity scale tells you about how severe is the hunger so india is here at with 27.2 score overall world level is at moderate right 18 point something and 17 nations have this low hunger severity scale according to the severity scale so uh, all in all three nations i have told you are at this alarming level you have to know the names of these three nations and 47 majority of the nations if we see are at the low hunger level okay and india is in this block of serious category so i hope this helps you to retain it better uh, that is the reason i have put it here because when you read it it's fine but you should be able to reproduce this in the examination so this is for that purpose and my last slide is about now again very important finding global finding so globally the report says that 690 million people are undernourished guys can this be a questionnaire exam yes there can be a statement that according to which report uh, so many people are undernourished in the world so undernourished is the keyword it should take you to global hunger index whenever it comes in the exam right then coming to stunting 144 million children suffer from stunting 47 million suffer wasting and 5.3 million children died before their fifth birthdays that is child mortality in the year 2018 specifically so these are the findings which are related to globe the worldwide findings one last thing i would like to tell you the report has said that uh, the data or the survey is taken from countries like india Nepal and Pakistan have showed that stunting of the children is concentrated uh, in the children which are from the households facing deprivations which are poor dietary diversity low levels of maternal education and household poverty so these are the three things uh, which when children face then they have more chances of becoming stunted because india's name is there and we have been given with the forms of deprivation so you have to know this guys this is again important a very important finding of this index okay guys uh now after we are done with the index all important things we have discussed about the global hunger index india specific findings global findings all the important figures i have told you now we will move to a few mcqs we will uh, practice what we have learnt through these mcqs okay uh, so guys the question is the way we started with our with our question number 1 the rank of india now next question is i hope you will be able to answer this Which of the following country has topped the Global Hunger Index 2020 released in month of October 2020? So uh, the top nation is China, Turkey, Cuba, both A and B, or all A, B and C. So guys, our answer would be all. We have seen 17 nations are there, which include China, Turkey, Cuba, right? So you have to keep this in mind. All A, B and C. next question according to global hunger index 2020 the world is not on track to achieve the sustainable development goal number dash known as zero hunger uh, by 2030 so this goal i have told you elaborately that which goal we are not on track to attain as per this index 2 3 4 5 6 our answer is option a that is sdg 2 but guys do find out about 3 4 5 6 also right it would be helpful for you there is a, a kind of infographic available in which all 17 goals are written you can google it easily so find that out take the print of it or you can even write those out it will be easy for you to while uh, you know passing across you can refer to it it will help you to remember 
Next question is guys, GHI 2020 report observes that child stunting is concentrated among children from households facing which of the following according to the data from India, Nepal and Pakistan. So these three nations are given and child stunting becomes common uh, if the households are facing poor diet, dietary diversity, low levels of maternal education, household poverty, both A and B or all of the above. So guys, we know the answer. We have covered that all the three things given here. Dietary diversity should be there. That means that there should be uh, diversity in what you eat. You should not be concentrated to rice or wheat. You should have a dietary diversity. Maternal education, if there are low levels of education, that is yeah, the mother is not educated, then also it might lead to stunting and household poverty is the most common reason. Okay. My last question guys for your practice is, Worldwide score of hunger is 18.2, indicating moderate hunger across the globe. According to the recently released GHI 2020, what is India's score in this index at the rank of 94? So my first question was about the index, the rank of India in the index, that was 94. My last question of the lecture is about the score of India with a rank of 94. What is it guys? 27.5, 26.4, 27.2, 25.6 or 30.6? So I hope we know the answer. India is in the serious category of 31 nations facing severe hunger. Uh, the India's rank is 27.2. So uh, that's it, my dear friends. I hope you found the session, the lecture useful. We have tried to cover all important aspects of this global hunger index. And we've also practiced the MCQ so that you retain this for your exam also. So do mention in the comments, how did you like the lecture? Would you want uh, such a lecture, a lecture series to be continued? We are planning to bring this on every Wednesday, right? So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, wishing you all the best and telling you about our previous results. EduTap has done really well this year in RBA Grade B 2019. 107 selections, the highest selection still now out of the 156 seats. So this uh, takes our record further high. And even 2018 also, Nabad, Sebi, RBI, brilliant results by EduTap. So I hope this uh, helps you to know that what we are providing, uh, we are trying to actually provide you the best of content. You just need to be consistent and study really well. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thank you for your time. And if you like the lecture, please click on like. Do mention a comment. Do tell us how did you like the lecture. And uh, please drop us a mail at hello at edutab.co.in for any query. And if you are new here, do subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.